Well, thanks everyone. Um, welcome to the uh, listen to the Carnaby story. Uh, my name's Rob Watkins. I'm the managing director of Carnaby Resources, and we will run through the presentation. Uh, Carnaby Resources is is fairly new. We only um, got together in April last year. Um, we're, our current share price is eight cents. We've got a very tight capital structure of 96 million uh, shares on issue. We're only eight million dollars market cap. Um, we've got about 1.8 million in the bank. Um, the managers hold, uh, sorry, the directors hold 14% of the company. And just a, the share graph that of this calendar year, uh, you'll see there for the first six months of this year, which has been quite an interesting year for all of us. Um, so we've really, we're, we've put out, uh, initially put out the resource for Tick Hill and we're really moving towards a development project now, going from a junior gold explorer to a, a gold producer to capitalise on the current high gold prices. Uh, and we sort of put out the resource and then in March, we put out the scoping study and we've just released the PFS study, uh, which we're going to talk about in some detail today. Um, our directors, uh, you see myself, Peter and Greg, we've been together for a long time. Uh, in previous companies, uh, we founded Bedell Resources, uh, and before that was Asian Court Resources, which was taken out by Oxiana. Um, so we'll go to the next slide. The jurisdiction, we're certainly happy to be in Australia, uh, and we are Australian focused. Uh, um, we are in the two premier uh, states of Australia, which is mining states, which is uh, Queensland and WA. Our main project is Tick Hill um, in Queensland, which will this is the basis of the presentation. Uh, we do have three projects in Western Australia, which are earlier stage, but I would like to point out the Strelly project, which is up in North Pilbara, um, uh, next to uh, De Grey's uh, exciting Finney Gold Discovery. And we won't talk about that again in this presentation, but we'll certainly we, we think there's some news coming out on that uh, not too, too distant future. Tick Hill itself uh, was an exceptional ore body. Uh, it was discovered back in 1989 by MIM, mined for four years. Uh, and it, it is one of the highest grade and most profitable gold ore bodies ever mined in Australia. And it's faulted off at only 230 metres flow surface. Uh, it produced or generated 150 to 200 million in profit for MIM, uh, when gold prices were only $350 an ounce. So half a million ounces at 22 grams. Uh, and if you look at that slide of the, the, where the pit is, uh, that pit is only 70 metres deep and that pit produced 180,000 ounces at 18 grams. Um, our plan is to cut back the pit, uh, do a 40 metre depth extension of the pit, and also reprocess the tailing stone. Here's the ore body itself, extremely uh, highly, highly positive reconciliation, lots of free gold, no other uh, associated pathway. In terms of the tick yield PFS, which we announced on, on the start of June, um, we have a, a like I said, a small pit cutback of the Tickle pit. There it is there, that's the design pit, and that's the gold we'll mine out of that pit. Uh, six and a half grams tonne, there wouldn't be many open pits in Australia that are, are going that sort of grade. But the beauty of this project is that in combination with the pit, we also reprocessing the tailings team, uh, which has been there for 25 years, it's completely dry, it's just removing a, a stockpile basically. And this is why this project we think is so going to be so successful because we can start with reprocessing the tailing SAM uh, at no capital cost, and then once we generate the cash flow, we'll start the pre strip on the on the pit. So here's the pre feasibility study results. Um, uh, we're looking to process, you know, close to half a million tons at two grams and recover thirty thousand ounces over, over just over thirteen months. Uh, there is no capital costs because we're just starting with the tailings, uh, literally stockpile picking it up and taking it to a mill. Uh, this project will generate in the order of 25 million, assuming the gold price stays approximately where it is, um, which is an exceptional project. Um, the key milestones to get into production, there's only two left, and, and that is to come to commercial terms on a toll treatment agreement, and we are well down the road to uh, forming that agreement. Also the regu regulatory requirements to amend the mining concession uh, and that is underway as well and that will take a few months to complete. So we do think by the end of by the fourth quarter of this year we will be in, in production. 
Uh, this is the list of the findings from the PFS, and you'll note the, you know, the site establishment is really only a couple of months maximum, uh, and that was our capital costs. So if that's not enough upside, then the uh, finding the offset of TKL is, is the is the jewel in the, in the crown, um, and we certainly think we're advancing that. Uh, as I said, you know the TKL was produced half a million ounces at 22 grams, and it's faulted off at only 235 metres below surface. Here's the long section of TKL, and you can see where the ore body's faulted off. Geologically, we think there's very good reasons why this ore body won't just stop there, and that there's nothing around it. We do think. Uh, there is the extension or repetition somewhere in the system, and one of the problems is the is a difficult target. It's a short strike length, only 80 metres average strike, and literally no dispersion outside the ore body. However, the last hole we drilled in 2019 uh, was this CBD 27, uh, over 200 metres, 250 metres north of where the ore body faulted off, and we hit 10 metre zone of lodestone. That lodestone. Uh, we also insect in the in the pit itself in the particular ore body uh, there in CBD 23. That that lodestone we think is unique to the deposit, and that's why we're so excited about this particular north area. Um, so we are planning more drilling in this area at, at particular deeps, um, but we are doing 3D geological modelling and relogging of core before we dive into that drilling. But we certainly hopeful that we will back here drilling this target in the not too distant future. The other side of the tick of Carnaby is, is the copper, and this is our pro our project outline uh, in the Anisa tick hill down the south here, uh, moving up to Mount Burney, and then up to the north we have a, a series of copper ISOG deposits, uh, and this is a significant camp of deposits um, that will be developed in the future. Our first uh, target we drill was Mount Burney. Um, and you can see the exceptional results we got there, which is very high grade copper, three minutes at nine percent copper within 17 minutes at three, and six minutes at 4.4 percent copper within 15 minutes at two. And you can see the long section there. Um, that long section, the copper is completely open right up to the surface, comes to the surface, and is completely open at depth at very high grades with 4.2 meters at four gram percent copper. So there's no doubt there is a, there is an open pit. Uh, to be developed here and potentially in underground as well. Um, it requires more work, um, but the copper is something for the future and we firm believe that the copper cost will recover uh, at some stage in the not too distant future. So we, we're getting prepared for that. So just in summary, investment highlights, you know, we have our management team is extensive experience in the mining industry. Uh, we have a track record for rapid growth. Um, we are well funded into production and we only have 100 million shares on issue. So we are leveraged for, for success. Um, and we are targeting you know, got first gold production in the fourth quarter of this year, end of this year. So we think as we move through into the final approvals, uh, the milestones, which is the uh, toll treatment agreement and the amendment to the uh, mining lease, then we, we should be regrated significantly from where we are, especially given this project is going to develop produce you know, $25 million of, of profit uh, and our market cap is currently only $8 million. Uh, but the big prize is obviously the faulted offset of Tick Hill and we certainly continue to be enthused by that and we are hoping to be drilling back at Tick Hill Deeps uh, before the end of the year. Uh, we do have an extensive camp of copper deposits um, uh, with exceptionally high grade at Mount Burney, which we are looking to uh, develop in the future when the copper prices recover. Um, and we also do have some significant projects we haven't talked about today, which is the Western Australian exploration projects, and particularly the Strelly project in the Malina Basin next to the Greys in the Gold Strait. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I think the forum's uh, open for Q&As uh, or one-on-one, -on -one, so more than happy to have some conversations with anyone who's interested in catching up and um, look forward to um, uh, going through the conference. Thank you very much.